uh, early impression on your defense so far? Well, you're right about the part that it, it's early. Uh, you know, what we're trying to create right now uh, in the third day, the first day of pass, so the first real day of football, is, is to be in a physical, dominating group that plays with relentless effort. And uh, the, the thing that is the most encouraging at this point in the first three days is we've got a really, really good attitude. We have uh, really tried to play with great effort uh, on every play. Uh, we're trying to create a culture where the, the other players on the, in the group affect the guy beside him. You gotta affect the people that you play with. Uh, and a simple version of that is if you're a leader, you're an older guy and you're out there, demand that the guys that you're playing with play with great effort. You know the technique star stuff, the, the scheme stuff. That's that's a, that's a process that uh, is going to take some time, uh, and uh, we got to go day by day with that, and evaluate it, and keep teaching. But the the, the physical dominance of things, of being a physical player, and playing relentless effort, and I'm talking about when you watch them play, you say that they're playing with relentless effort every play. That is is something that we're pushing real hard. When you came here and first watched film of Byron Coward, and now what you've seen of him in the spring, any differences with him and, and taking a step forward in the sophomore year? Well, at this point in time, uh, it's so early for a football coach. Basically, 30 minutes after walking off the field, the first day in pads, to evaluate someone. Uh, you know, he is a is a physical talent with a great attitude. Uh, he's still young. Uh, and, and so we're those things I just talked about, of being a, a physical dominant player, being physical, playing with great effort. He's bought into that. Uh, and obviously, we're, we're in college, we're not in the NFL, so the, the technique development of things is, a, is an ongoing process, and, and he, is, he is buying into that. Uh, but to assess where he's at, or to give a personal assessment to it in one day in pads would be unfair. What does it mean to you to be considered a player's coach? What do you take that to mean? What, what do you take pride in that? What does that mean to you? Well, uh, I, I really don't know. You probably have to ask the players what that means. I, 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 I assume you're saying somebody said that. I don't know that. Uh, uh, I think the thing that, that we want to do is that we want to demand that they do things the right way. Uh, but in the process of doing that is to be a teacher first and foremost, uh, and we all have styles in coaching. Uh, my style has evolved, changed back, evolved some more uh, to get to where it is now. So it's, it's been remade many times over to correct mistakes uh, that I felt like I made based on my personality. And uh, you know, at this point in time, uh, I've been doing it long enough now, I feel pretty comfortable with it. Are there any mistakes from your past? Whether it be an individual overall that stand out to you, ones that you look back on. Yeah, you know, when you're younger, sometimes you can you can coach guys so hard that you put them in a shell, uh, and then it takes you a while to get them out of. It. Now you can still coach them hard. There's a difference in coaching them one description hard and another description hard. And uh, you know, I, I try to try to make sure that uh, that it's always about what's happening on the field and. Uh, not get so upset or so frustrated with something that it, that it comes across personal. Yeah, what are you saying the linebacker group so far in practice? Uh, they're an eager group. Uh, there's actually more bodies there in terms of guys who have instinct uh, and, and understand the game. They're good students of the game. Uh, they're just young and inexperienced. And so, you know, we got to develop them fast. But uh, that's not something that uh, – that has not been done before. Uh, I've been coaching linebackers long enough. Of course, Travis is doing a great job with him. He's a good teacher, but uh, it's, it's not the first time you've had to play inexperienced linebackers uh, at all. Is uh, Trey is trying to step up and be a leader? In that? Trey is, is, is trying to be what I said about affecting <coughs> the others around him. He's trying to be a good leader in affecting uh, the, the personality, the demeanor, the way we go about things. He's working hard to do that. Kevin, you've got, you see enough to know what you want to do with Jeff and Holland yet, where you want to play and how you want to use him? Uh, well, obviously, we've got him at Buck right now, the open side end. Uh, 
it, again, it's so early in the process. Uh, I knew him out of high school uh, as a recruit, so uh, there's some knowledge there, but as far as I'm concerned, they're, they're all freshmen in terms of going about it and just haven't practiced enough to know. But I do know that he has the physical attributes to, to be uh, a, a player. What about Paul James? Well, uh, that falls in a category to where uh, Paul has had a medical deal. And, and so, uh, you know, anytime it's a medical issue, then I, that's a head coach's question. Uh, but uh, in terms of being in meetings and being attentive and understanding what the what schematically we're trying to get done, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's done that very well. You referred to it as the buck. Last, last couple of days ago, I think some players called it the bandit. We'll call it the buck. Is that basically all the same thing? I, how similar is it to what I don't, know what, I don't know what they were there, depending on who. I've never heard bandit here okay. uh, or in any system I've been in. I, I know it is in some systems, uh, but the bandit is the guy that plays the, the star or the nickel. Buck is the open side end, right? And so, uh, but it's the same here as the open side end. Okay. You talked about you got a really new coaching staff, different parts. How are you guys starting to work together? New together. We're old enough to be new together. New. Uh, I don't think anybody that knows me would call me new. <laughs> but uh, it, 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 we got a good, good, good group. You know, Rodney has been in a long time coaching this league. I think he's the second longest team to coach in this league. I think John Chavis at Texas a and may have about a couple of years. You know, he's seen a lot of football in this league. He realized what it takes to play. He's a good teacher. Uh, and then, of course, Wesley is, is, you know, was it was a choice that we wanted to get. We were very fortunate to be able to get a guy out of the NFL uh, uh, that had a tremendous amount of experience in college coaching and recruiting and wanted to be in college football. Uh, and then, of course, Travis has been a player. Uh, he's a young guy. That, as, as a group, we just, we get along. I mean, we, that's the first thing you got to do. You got to be on the same page. You got to be, you spend too much time. In there. I mean, think about it. Uh, I spend way more time with Rodney, Wesley, and Travis than I do my wife. Uh, and uh, so you, you got to have a group of guys that are on the same page, get along contribute with each other, take up slack for each other. Uh, it's just like a team. You got each other's back and, and it's been fun with, with this group and uh, you know, we kind of make we're gonna make sure that, that stays up there. I understand again it's the uh, it's the first day in pass, but you're talking about some experienced guys needing to step up and take leadership. Anybody that that, that you sort of notice today and then follow up, uh, what about Young guys that might have caught your eye today. Well, I'm real hesitant. Always have been, and I'm not not answering your question, but I'm real hesitant about. It's more about the group and and, and who comes to the top of the group. Uh, assessing after one day in pads is, is really a hard thing to do. But from the leadership standpoint, uh, you know, Montrevious has is, is, is stepped up. Carl is an energetic guy up there. Uh, that that uh, Byron Cowell. He's a young guy, really, but he's starting to, to assert himself. Uh, and, of course, Trey uh, in the linebacker room. Uh, the DBs, Carlton, is you know, a young guy, really, but he has. Uh, Ruffin has done. Uh, I've seen him out there. Stephen Roberts, a young guy, but he's, he's stepping up. Josh Lulzi still coming back from his second torn ACL. Do you know if you're going to want to put him in safety or corner, or especially coming off multiple knee injuries, if it's better off in safety? Well, it's kind of hard for me to assess that until I see you practice. Uh, and uh, I, if it helps you any, uh, we're, we're cross-training more at safety in the meeting room mentally in terms of what he's focusing on and hearing with the corner part of it. But, you know, they're pretty tied in together. If you know what the safety does, you know what the corner does. Uh, now, sometimes that corner doesn't always know what that safety do it should, but that not always. So he's focused a little bit more on that mentally. But in terms of assessing that, I get what you say and I agree with what you say. <coughs> History says that. But do we know yet? No, not really. What's the process overall been for the defensive whole thing? Because you're, the, again, third, third coordinator for three years. Just for the older players who've been through that, the juniors and seniors, what is the learning process and the meeting has been like? These first. Well, I'm not. It, 
I'm not so concerned uh, with in terms of the past and what you know numbers and who and all that as much as because every team every team you hear coaches that you know when you go to the SEC meeting days how many county how many times you see you know every team has a life of its own uh, this is a new team this is not last year's team we can't rest on what we did last year in some form uh, and that's as true a statement as you make every team that I've ever coached whether it was a national championship team the year before or whether it was a team that struggled the year before every team has different personality uh, different chemistry different makeup uh, this has been a very eager group to learn uh, they've, they've embraced what we're doing but then we've also done we've tried to facilitate the learning curve a little bit by trying to because there's some similarities in the in the two people that were one that's here last and one that's here now, uh, and myself, uh, the dictionary is pretty similar. So we've tried to keep as much of it the same as possible, which makes it friendly for the players. You, you mentioned the personality of each team. Have you ever had a team before where you always rely on the upperclassmen, but there's only five returning seniors on defense, only one's a returning star. Have you ever had a roster composed that way in advance? Or last year. Last year, you know, in, the, in that year we played, that's a, that's a young, that was a young group, a very young group, and not very many returning starters. Uh, wound up throughout the year actually starting uh, two freshmen a lot and three freshmen some uh, with a bunch of sophomores. So, yes, last year. Where would the Anymore? defensive line be with that if Montrevious Adams and Carl Lawson had decided to go to the NFL? That's a pretty easy one there. More is better, and if more is like Carl and Montrevious, it's really better. <laughs> Coach, where are you playing uh, Montrevious uh, Atkinson right now? How's it look? He's playing uh, the money will spot. He's a very fast guy, very energetic guy. Uh, it's physical. Uh, I, uh, it's only one practice, but I saw that real quick. Uh, and uh, he's really, he's really progressing nice in terms of just. Uh, the understanding of, of what he's trying to get accomplished at the position in, in the three days that we've done. You said he plays money will? He's playing the money will. I like that name. Well, the, well, that's two different things now. Oh, okay. It's the money and nickel, it's the will and record. So. What have you, you seen early on with Jamel Dean? Uh, Long, uh, has physicality, uh, understands the position. Early impressions of um, Prince Tiger? Uh, fun to watch because he is a, he's an athletic guy. Uh, he can run real well. He's very, he, he just, he's like a sponge. He hangs on every word you say. Uh, you know, uh, if he hears you talking to a linebacker, he's listening. Sometimes I think, is that going to clutter his thought process? But I think he just, he wants to hear everything you have to say. Any, any thought of uh, moving him in, looking at him in, inside and out? Uh, not there yet. Uh, you know, and the developmental process, <coughs> cross training a developmental player, and I'm not saying that he's total developmental, but one year of high school, limited reps since he's been here, to cross train somebody real early in the process can can be detrimental. What about uh, John Tavius Johnson? Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, John Tavius Johnson. What if, if you've seen anything from him? Uh, pardon me. John Tavius Johnson. Yes. He's, uh, he's another guy that gives you a big body in there that has athleticism. Was Rudy finally able to go today? Was Rudy finally able to practice today? Uh, on, on who practices who don't, if you don't mind, just because I've been doing this a long time, it, that's a question really when you start talking about who's out there and who's doing what, that's more the head coach. I was wondering about Marvin inside or out. Uh, again, a young guy uh, that is in the process of learning. Uh, college football, and so uh, I'm not saying that one day that could not happen. Where's he starting? Is he, is he working outside? No, no, he's, he's outside. He's okay. in. Yes, sir. All right, Coach. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you, guys. It.